Welcome our dear students of Prep 1. Today we are going to study Unit 3 Lesson 1, Living Organisms Diversity and the Principles of Their Classification. Our lesson is divided into two parts. The first one is Diversity of Living Organisms. The second part is Principles of Classification. Now we are going to take the first part is diversity of living organisms and starts with diversity of animals when you pay a visit to the zoo you may observe the variety among animals in a lot of different characteristics such as the size the environment where animals live the shape and the way of feeding Now we are going to take the size. The size is used to differentiate between big animals and small animals. Examples of big animals like elephant and rhinosaurus. Examples of small animals rabbit, rat and lizard. The second different characteristic between animals is the environment where they live. Animals may live in water like fishes, crocodiles and hippotomai or may live on land like the horse, dog and lion. Second, diversity of plants. Plants are different from each other in many characteristics such as length and size of leaves. For length, we have two types. We may have huge trees like camphor and palm trees or short weeds like clever and gergeyer. Size of leaves. Also, there is a difference between size of leaves. We may have plants carry large sized leaves like banana plant or plants carry small sized leaves like molochia plant diversity of microorganisms what are microorganisms they are living organisms that can't be seen by the naked eye but they spread everywhere around us in air water and soil Microorganisms exist in pond water and can be seen only by the microscope. The second part in our lesson is classification of living organisms. Living organisms must be classified into groups to facilitate their studying. The science which is responsible for that is known as taxonomy. What's meant by taxonomy? It's a branch of biology that searches for similarities and differences among living organisms and it places the similar ones in groups according to a certain system in order to ease their study. Classification of plants According to external shape so we have many features in order to classify plants the first one is according to external shape some plants can't be distinguished into roots, stems, or leaves, such as algae. We have three types of algae, green algae, red algae, and brown algae. While most of plants are distinguished into roots, stems, and leaves, such as maize, wheat, palms, and comfort plants, Another way to distinguish between plants is according to their way of reproduction. And this is classified into two types. The first type, plants reproduce by formation of spores. These are small terrestrial plants known as ferns, such as fujir and adiantum. Or plants reproduce by formation of seeds and these are divided into 
نمبر 1 جيمنوسبيرمس جيمنوسبيرمس سيدز ار فورمد انسايد كونز اند دو نوت انسايد ا بيريكارب اور فروت انفلوب ساتش از باين اند سايكس بلانتس نمبر 2 انجيوسبيرمس اور فلاورينج بلانتس اند ذيس هاف سيدز فورمد انسايد ا بيريكارب They are divided into number one monocotyledon plants such as maize and wheat plants or dicotyledon plants such as bean and bee plants. In order to know examples of these animals, let's do the following activity. Animals with soft bodies like jellyfish. Octopus and earthworm. Animals with external support like muscle, snail, and shrimp. While animals with internal support like skeleton of cow, skeleton of fish, and skeleton of bird. Number two, classification of arthropods according to the number of legs. What are arthropods? They are invertebrate animals that are characterized by the presence of jointed legs. Arthropods are classified according to number of legs into insects, arachnids, and myriapods. Insects have three pairs of jointed legs, such as locust, bees. flies and the cockroaches while arachnids have four pairs of jointed legs such as spider and scorpion and myriapods have large number of legs such as scolopendra and julius number three classification of mammals according to the presence of teeth number one identities or toothless mammals such as sloth and armadillo number two mammals with teeth divided into three groups according to the shape kind and number of teeth into animals have front teeth extending outwards to capture insects such as hedgehog Animals have pointed canines and molars with sharp projections such as lion, tiger, and all carnivores. Or finally, animals have sharp incisors. They are divided according to the number of incisors in each jaw into rodents. And these have one pair of incisors in each jaw, such as squirrel and rat. Or lagomorphs. These have two pairs of incisors in upper jaw and one pair in lower jaw such as rabbit. Natural classification of living organisms. Linnaeus used the species as a fundamental unit of natural classifying system. Species is the basic classification unit for living organisms. What's meant by species? It's a group of more similar living organisms in shape that can reproduce to give birth of new fertile individuals which are able to reproduce and keep the existence of the species.